If you're traveling to Paris, Place de la République is probably one of the places that you'd like to visit to pay tribute to those innocent lives that were lost during the horrible terrorist attacks. Now we'd like to show you what's been like here in the past few days and how the French have stayed resilient as well as standing united. Buddhist monks have traveled thousands of miles to chant for hours. A grandmother drenched in tears. A woman she doesn't know hands her a candle. Hand in hand, they pray for loved ones and for strangers. This is how people have assembled to embrace one another in agony and in compassion. There is no doubt that walking on the streets of Paris is now tainted with paranoia. In midst of large crowds in Place de la République, a false alarm on Sunday night sent people running for their lives, completely on edge. Thirty minutes later, however, people returned to the plaza, bravely continuing exactly what they were doing before the false alarm. Here, a young woman tells us that she's okay, but it was chaotic. Uh, here I, uh, I, uh, I've known that nothing has happened in Valti, but everyone was crying, everyone was shaking, it was, uh, it was chaos. <laughs> and there were cops uh, with... Uh, Again, and uh, I, everyone was really uh, under pressure, and it's, uh, it's very good. I think it's a good thing that some people uh, are still here to uh, to show that we're not afraid in Paris. <laughs> Rain or shine, fearlessness resides in the pride of the French, honoring loved ones who have passed. Gatherings in the heart of Paris are moving with music, for solitude and for unity. From young musicians to patriots singing the French national anthem, the Marseillaise. Burning candles and flowers huddle the statue, demonstrating a resilient city and a nation's refusal to waver in the face of frightful threats. I'm Adriana Kubrashek, and today I'm taking you around London my way.